Oh, I'm in place that, and we're back with some more CK2 Quantum Leap, and we're back here where we've just found out that our wife has got the flu. So we're good. That's horrible news, and we'll just carry on. After being skillfully treated by court physician Theodosius Brienos, Brienos, my wife Pulcheria is feeling much better. Perhaps he is deserving of some praise. I will personally praise him because good job, son. Very competent, son. Under pressure from a powerful faction, Basilios Michael VII of the Byzantine Empire has agreed to increase the power of the Consistorium, which I assume is just the equivalent of a council. See, forgot to set my timer again, like an idiot. Uh, new important decisions, extort subjects. Well, my only vassal of note, well, he does quite like me. Then why is he in the bloody faction? Could just revoke his title. Give me that. No, there's no, there's no way. Um, uh, etiquette sounds like her thing. So yeah, we're not really having much go on. Except for the fact that my wife is dead. That is something that is going on. Um, we don't really have any capable spy masters. Which is a concern. Um, right, first things first, let's deal with this wife issue. So, just for prestige purposes, this seems like an excellent marriage. Yeah, prestige. Prestige is the way forward. Um, other than that, um, is there a way for me to hire a, a spy master? Noble. Hmm. I see. This is troubling. I guess in the absence of anyone good, we just pick the guy who likes us. But is incompetent? I mean, he can't inherit anyway, so... I'm not particularly worried. And he has claims he might not like me because of that, but he's not gonna kill me. When my son inherits. He's already an adult. I mean, it's kind of a bit of a waste of everyone's time. And Capet. Right, well... We claim on the Kingdom of England. Um, I always imagined I would be the first of us to go, but now I am the one morning the departure of my dear friend. Never again will I hear Pulcheria's jo jolly laugh or receive her wise counsel. It is as if I have lost an essential part of myself. I feel so powerless. Pulcheria would not want me to cry. Let's drink in her honour. Um, friendship will only hurt you in the end. Um... Or I could become depressed. Let's go out and get drunk. I feel like this guy would get drunk. He's gregarious. Let's get drunk. I've I've probably already had one drink too many. When I am joined at the table by an equally intoxicated man, it takes me a few minutes to realise, but surely it must be Arsenios. We spend quite some time drinking together, sharing our sorrows. Perhaps a new friend is what I need. Indeed, I couldn't agree more. A young Romelia... Is showing tendencies to be more of a doer than a thinker. Yes, that would be a kind way to describe it. Try and be brave. Oh, she's dull. She's dull. Typical. Fucking typical. Conscientious. Right? Yes. Steward. Be a steward. Hmm. Senussi. See, the Senussis um, actually did rule Libya for a long time. Um, under the Ottoman Empire and then under kind of under Italy, they just kind of stayed out of the Italian controlled areas for a lot of that time. Um, if you've played Kaiserreich, you've probably heard of them, if it was the Senussi order. Recently you have noticed a charming woman at your court, you've never heard of her name before, but her refined manners and etiquette suggest she has had a fine upbringing. She is an excellent conversationist and everyone adores her, maybe you could make use of her talents. Ooh, boy would that be controversial. Although he is my vassal, so no. He's my vassal, so I'm going to not play that dumb game. Uh, could you improve diplomatic relations with yourself? I 
I feel like this is... Mm, never mind. Don't want to be a commander. No hunting events yet, though. I'm just stressed. I need to bloody chill out. Does my daughter have a claim on Calliopolis? Um, never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed there. Um, that is interesting. How many holdings does he have? He has one. And he has, hmm, maybe when my daughter comes of age, you should try finding her a matrilineal, suitable matrilineal marriage. Because then we can take that land for the family. And as you know, the family is the most important thing. Rurikid. Rurikid's always... Okay, let's try and find her someone decent. Uh, anyone quick? Anyone strong? No. Anyone attractive at least? No. Hmm... So what's she not going to be good at is the question. Anyone learned? Well, he's quick. Why didn't he show up for quick? Am I spelling these wrong? He's Ethiopian, but he is a beastly character. The Maif is like a bit of an issue. I, mean, I don't know how much of a difference there is between Maif is like an orthodox Christianity, but, well, we're going to find out, I guess. Dionysios. Wait, does he also have the claim? He does also have the claim. But, I mean, it's so distant, it may as well go to a cadet branch. Because just logically speaking, it's going to be hard to maintain... Well, should point at my screen, I'm not getting used to that. This. I'm intending to take that and this together. So... Hmm... Asilius Michael the Unready has inherited the Treaty of Bononia. Hmm. Open Council of Spymaster again? Okay, Anne. We need Anne. The anti papacy of Urbanus II has ended. That's probably fine. Um, a defensive pact opposing Heinrich the Fourth Salian has been disbanded. Uh, less good, but again, not particularly our concern. Um, Hmm. The Jihad for Sicily. Oh. So what's happened? So Sicily is still a thing, and the Caliph has been overthrown. Awesome. Vassal Caliph, though, must be supremely helpful for Marcel of the Seljuks of debate. Uh, yes. Now, don't ask me again, please, for the love of... Uh, Antipope named Nikolaos II. Third. Okay. More antipopes. Always fun. Oh, he's imprisoned. Well, that's gone well. Um, to the brave wit Nikephoros. Uh, yes, yes. I want you to revoke that. I want that title for myself, probably. You know? Uh, oh. No, not yet. But soon we may be dealing with a new epidemic. Leech Council's discontent. What's he done? Byzantine Croatian de jour war over split. Okay, so he's gone to war with Croatia. That, that's what I just understood. See, the Byzantine Emperor doesn't seem to care much about his council. The peasants in Rodos spend a long time on the road in order to meet with the priests. Also, your ecclesiarch Theodoros, Theodosius claims he suggests it would be in your interest to construct local shrines in that way. The peasants would not have to travel far to uh, worship. Yeah, sure. I mean, I see no issue with that.
Hmm. Could extort the subjects, but that doesn't feel right to extort them. Fret 1%. I introduced Theodosius Brienos to Arsenios, hoping they would be get hoping they would get along. But apparently, Theodosius Brienos was not interested in making an effort. Too bad Theodosius did not like my friend. It is too bad. It is too bad. Well, at least since I've arrived, okay, that's great. That's a great levy reinforcement rate. Hmm. I should focus on paying back those loans. Betrothed can marry. Let's get him married. Nice job. Nice job. The crusade for Jerusalem fails. Well, yeah, it happens. Oh, fun. Are they two separate? Yeah, they're two separate revolts. I wonder what the issue is. Um. Oh, this guy's still doing great. Um, as she's growing older, I can see that Romelia could use some guidance in my <laughs> in some of my experienced areas. It will be hard work. Hmm. Become ambitious. It's it's a good counter to you being a bit dumb. I do always like the child drawings. Child drawings are nice. Um. Hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, Osterhild von Stalek. Stalek. I feel like I recognize that name, but maybe it's a common name. Um, I have cramps. Okay. Theodosia of Piranus states that his extensive medical experience leads him to the certain conclusion that you have food poisoning. Well, in order to bring balance to your humors, oh dear. Theodosius made you drink salty water to induce vomiting. It was very effective. I mean, like, the humours is not um, a real medical thing. It will shock you to know, given the state of medi medieval um, medieval um, uh, medicine, especially in Europe, uh, considering they drilled holes into people's skulls. But um, the, but actually drink, making you vomit after food poisoning is probably actually a good thing. Because so it will probably remove the corrupting agent. Intense vomiting and diarrhoea. Yeah, well... Um, your court physician Theodosius Buronos has come to see you and offered treatments for your illness. He explains that there are several different types of treatments that he can offer. Just, you know, a regular old treatment would be nice, I think. The red powder was tantalizing in color. A servant had made the mistake of tasting it in its pure form. His tongue had swollen up badly and Theodosius had chastised him firmly for it. Theodosius poured the spice into a chalice of water, stirred it meticulously before feeding you a spoonful. I actually feel better. Yeah, that sort of thing likely work. Uh, let's just do some housekeeping over here. Arsenios is no longer my steward, which is a shame because he was my friend. Um, or oh, Ioannis, I guess. It's not really many other choice. Julianos as well. I do like some of these names, very Latin based. Um, I do wonder about factions and if overthrowing him i mean this should trigger surely but oh he does have cancer to be honest this guy is gonna die fairly soon um we're 47 you have a good few years left so we're just gonna speed ahead Uh, your violent vomiting and diarrhea have gone away. You have recovered from what must have been food poisoning. Well, we can only hope it was food poisoning. Mutamir the Young. Ah. See, Unified Kingdom of Sicily is nice. You know, De Hauteville. Ah, yes, the Norman Kingdom of Sicily. That was indeed a thing. Um... A oh, Seljuk sandwich here. Well, no, I guess the Seljuks aren't the sandwich, but they're the bread. Arcelius Michael the Unready has inherited the Duchy of Moesia. Well, he's the one who died. He's the one who died of cancer, of course. 
I mean, can we not trigger the faction? What could we start? Wow, you can do a lot of... Queen Soronia. <laughs> I do like these factions. Um, they are very interesting. Independence would be fun. I don't think it would work. I don't think it would be independent very long. Um, Strategist Michael II of Epirius. I'm not feeling that. The white stag. I must send people out to find it. The monophysite faith triumphant. The bickering of fools does not concern me. Yes, please hurry up and do that. Like, please just revoke that title. I don't understand if the AI is not triggering things for some reason, but it's really annoying. For fuck's sake. Count Julianos is no longer Chancellor. Okay, so what does that mean happened? So my relative has... Ooh, competent relative is always nice. Yes. Uh, we need a we need to hire a noble person. Diogenes of Cida. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, be gone. Uh, let's see. If it's another one with stewardship, then we'll know this is not what I'm meant to be doing. Right. Well then. Oh, that sucks. So bad. But it is what we have to do right now. An incompetent diplomat. So we'll just keep him away. We're just not going to use him. Yeah, research cultural tech. You know, get busy, dude. Young Romelia has finished her education and stewardship. It seems she has learned all the basic skills required. Great. Basic skills are the best skills. Uh, let's get her married. Uh-huh. All children of the Union will be of her dynasty. I really hope he's not the heir to this. Uh... No, okay, good. Um, Tamirat. Hmm, it's an interesting name. It's a bastard, but he's quick. Um, for some time now, my wife, Princess Anne, has been avoiding me. She has not visited my bread chamber for several weeks. When I've demanded to know why, she's given me nothing but feeble excuses. Uh, today, I overheard a couple of servants gossiping. They said Anne has contracted um, syphilis. I mean, if she, oh, she has contracted syphilis too. That's like a very, very clear thing. Um, but here is where we will stop. So I've been um, Sidan Plays That. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.